and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to do a bit of a old school type of video. I think I've done this once before on my channel, maybe twice. I'm pretty, I've definitely done it once. And it's going to be like a favourites video, things I've been loving type thing. And I think we'll just jump straight into it. Um, it's going to be a bit of a random thing. So I'm going to start off with the things that I can't show you. So the first thing is podcasts. And I mentioned this in my last um, things I've been loving video and it is the girls bathroom podcast so it is Sophia and Chintzia here on YouTube um, they have this brand that they're creating called the girls bathroom so that you would probably see that I've had a few jumpers from their collection but they've done hats and tote bags and t-shirts and jogger sets um, hoodies jumpers t-shirts short sets um they've got some really nice collections at the moment I really want to get my hand on like the mint or the lilac jumper and the don't call me um the new like oh what is it like tie-dye type print so they have two they've had two collections they've had like the his loss collection oh no they've had the tennis club the his loss and the don't call me um yeah and i just really like them but they have a podcast called the girls bathroom that was i think where the brand name started i'm sure they started that before the clothing brand but basically they do like kind of like an agony aunt type thing but it's so they either do a boy talk or a girl talk so the girl talk is a lot of things like dilemmas on friendship groups and family and there's the odd like boyfriend one that slips through but maybe things even like just life problems of should I go to uni I don't really want to go to uni but everyone else is should I go and I'm afraid to be left out that kind of thing and then the boy talks are about relationships um obviously not necessarily um about boyfriends like it could be girlfriend issues but basically a relationship issue um side of the podcast that they do i'm really sorry if the light goes in and out because i've got a big window to the next um to the side of me and the weather's been so funny this week um it's been very like it's blue skies at the moment but then it goes really gray and just absolutely chucks it down so i don't know what the weather's doing in england at the moment but yeah i'm really sorry if the light goes in and out but yeah, that's just a podcast that I've been loving for a long time and I think you should check it out. The other podcast I've been loving more recently is The Fellas Podcast. I actually watched this one on YouTube, but they do have it on Spotify and other platforms as well. This is hosted by Chip and Cal Freezy and yeah, they just do really good, really nice long podcasts actually. Some of their episodes are like two hours long. They've had Saffron Barker on, um, Olivia Neal, they had like their accountant come on i think his name was sam he does a lot of the accounting for a lot of big youtube and i think he said footballers and like a lot of people in the entertainment world and it was kind of his insight of it um he had bazinga on um so ethan from the sidemen he's had a lot of people on and yeah he just oh, yeah just their podcast is really fun you know they have a drink they're just talking then they do some like relationship dilemma questions yeah, it's just a really nice, fun podcast, easy to watch. You can have it on the background, so I do prefer to watch it. But yeah, you can have it on and it's really good. Next is two TV shows. So the first is Unforgotten. Um, this is like a police detective drama. Basically, in all this series, they, in the first episode, they find a body and it's to do with like historical murders. Um and they work out who it is it's usually like a missing person and then throughout the episode you probably would have seen like four or five people and then as it unravels these four or five people are linked to this missing person that's found dead and yeah it's just really good if you like a good crime detective show it's really good the first three seasons are on netflix and the season four at the moment is on itv player but really good tv show i really enjoy it um i'm on the the fourth season at the moment um yeah i think i've only got a couple of episodes left but it's really good if you love a crime please drum like me i would recommend that one um the next tv show is a little bit the other end of the scale from unforgotten it is the tv show glow up so it's a tv show that my jamma host stacy dooley um previously prevent presented it it's on um bbc and it's basically Val Garland and Dominic Skinner I think his name is they're like big big names in the makeup industry so Val Garland is L'Oreal's head makeup I believe and she does like things for Vogue in that and Dominic Skinner is Max head face uh, 
head makeup artist uh, like overall and yeah it's a tv show where they judge and there's been eight or ten people picked from the uk and it's basically a tv show where they battle out and you know they just do different challenges each week they do like creative things um they just did like one that was like period makeup the winner of that challenge like how got to help do the makeup for the crown like they do some really cool challenges that's just a really fun easy watch um yeah it's on tuesdays actually so i think i need to watch the episode tonight that comes out but really good just really easy watches so moving on to things that i can actually show you the first one is all in the namesake of covid and it's actually hand sanitizer really boring i know but my friend had this abby shout out to you and it just actually smells really nice so if you're in the uk and you can get yourself to super drug and get this hand sanitizer it's a spray and it's from the like so fragrance um brand so it just smells amazing and i'm not gonna lie i forgot my forgot to put, put like a perfume body mist type thing on the other day so i actually sprayed this on me um but it just smells really really nice and the spray is really good so like i take that when i go in shops and then um like do it and spray it on the baskets or trolleys but really nice really random but it's a really nice product to use next i think again i have showed this before but this just just shows my love of it and it's the dr lip nipple balm no it's not for your nipples it is for your lips and it's just a really nice thick moisturizer for your lips um it's a bit more like a lip mask but i just still use it just as a lip balm throughout the day um yeah just really thick and just really nice so it's made of lanolin it says from made 100 percent medical grade lanolin but it's just really nice and thick you know if you've got really chapped sore lips you know when you like go to talk and they crack like this is the lip balm that you want to be using um especially that winter i know we're going into like spring summer but this is still really good next is <laughs> Again, something a bit random. It's these that I got off Amazon and they are bamboo exfoliating gloves. So when I was in like high school, I think I used to use these on my face, um, which is probably a bit too harsh for my face, but I don't do that now. I basically have incorporated these into my like shower routine. The day before or a couple of days before when I'm like going, I need to shave my legs, I'm going somewhere. I will make sure to use these like the two days before just so then when I come to shave, like come to shave, I know that I've fully exfoliated. Um, I also just tend to use them like two to three times a week. I use my shower gel. I put it on these, like put my gloves on, put the shower gel on my hands and then just rub it. So then I'm literally just like exfoliating my whole body at the same time. And yeah, I just find them really good. I think with like my arm you know, wearing deodorant, I feel like they feel a bit more like exfoliated there's not a clog of deodorant or anything like that because i'm going to show you next the deodorant that i use and it's a cream so i like to make sure you know make sure i'm not getting any ingrown hairs under my armpits or anywhere else so the deodorant that i use is this and this is from the brand native um i'm pretty sure i've seen saffron barker um promoting this before this was just a really random brand that I think my mum found on Facebook and they are American, but they ship over and you don't get charged loads of tax. So I think you can order three for like $30, but there's some really nice scents. So I've currently got blood orange and clove and yeah, they're just a cream formula. They last forever. Um, and yeah, I just find that this works. I'm quite a sweaty person. If you've watched my previous videos, you would have heard me say that a lot of times. Um, it doesn't completely stop obviously it doesn't stop sweating it doesn't completely stop you know me feeling sometimes like a smell of it but this is a really good product and i really really actually do like it sometimes if i'm actually going out somewhere i'll use two deodorants so i will use this this is the salt of the earth effective natural deodorant and this is in the scent melon and cucumber it's basically like a spray mist it's like a liquid and I, when I get out of the shower once I've dried, I'll spray this, like let that dry and put more moisturiser on. Um, and then I basically let everything completely dry. And then I'll use the cream on top just as a double protect. Um, it does say long lasting, no white marks. Um, 
the bottle's made from 50% recycled plastic and 50% plant-derived plastic. I'm working on um, refillable bottles as well, so you can get the refills. This is just off Amazon, they do loads of scents. Um, I've you also used... Uh, I've also used the deodorant from them, which is like, um, I think it's called alum, and it's basically, it looks like a crystal type thing. Um, you can use it when you, men use it, sorry, when they like shave. I think it's supposed to, you know, like if you like get a little um, cut or something, you're supposed to rub alum on it, and it stops there being any infection and helps to like close it up. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, they've done a spray version, and this is just really nice um just as i say the scent's nice the only thing is a bit wet so i wouldn't like whereas my the cream one obviously i can put on like under the top um i put that one on the evening i'll shower moisturize spray and let everything dry and then get dressed so that's probably just the only thing i would say one thing for shower routine i've not actually got the razor with me because my blue's in the shower so i can't get it but is the estrid razors so i have it in this lilac color this is just the travel case i just brought this so you can see the color if you watch a lot of youtube and follow a lot of instagram you will see that so many people promote estrid razors i hadn't been sucked in by the um all the promotions that i've seen until one of my friends megan if you're watching she told me that they were actually really good and me and my mum previously been using another subscription company called I think it's FFS. Yeah, FFS. Um, my mum still uses that now. But they're still the traditional, like, the rectangle shaped um, razors. You know, like men's razors that remind me of. Whereas the estrid ones are, like, really rounded shape and they have a lot of, um, like, the. What are they called? What's the bit on it? It's like the moisturising part. Like, there's a big section of that and it's just so easy to shave. Touch wood. I've not properly cut myself yet. Only done, like, like where I've just pulled the hair out, just where the hair follicles come out. But they are actually really good razors, and I do think that it's actually really worth the hype. And if you use people's codes, I think it donates like a pound to like helping women in need. Um, so yeah, it's a really good company. Again, they do really nice colours. I'm sure you've seen. You get the little like shower squeegee, the little thing. You can sign up for refills whenever you want. So I've just realised I could show you a razor head. So. I had three razors come, three razor heads come. It was like two, uh, two months after. But you can see, like on them, like look how big this section is, and it's the same at the top. And they're just really, really good to use. Moving on, this is just one makeup thing I've got, and it's the eyelashes I have on. These are actually Primark eyelashes, and these are the. They're like the winged false eyelashes, but oh my god, Primark eyelashes are really good. Like they're a really thin brand at the start, and then they go into thick lashes. They're literally like, if I can see the other packet, so I'm just trying to look at the other packet. One pound. I've got these half ones here. They're one pound. Like there are some. That, there are some that are more expensive, and Mora Higgins also has a range of them. I think they're about five pound an eyelash, but still really good and affordable. But they're just so good and you do actually get a massive thing of eyelash glue with them i haven't used it just because i already had eyelash glue open um but yeah just really really good the next couple of things that i'm going to talk about are skincare i think i might do a video of where i show you my skincare routine um because i've really got it nailed at the moment um but i just want to show you these couple of products so these are both from the inky list and it is the hyaluronic acid and the 15% vitamin C and EGF these are part of my morning routine and I was really looking at the inky list because they've got a whole range of products they're quite like the um the ordinary but and I was a bit overwhelmed of what to choose so I watched no I always get this wrong I think it's James Welsh I, I watched his videos he's this there's a twins and one does there's Robert and James I'm pretty sure Robert is more into makeup and James is skincare. But I watched his videos of what is good and bad, bad from the Inky List. And I'm pretty sure he included them in the, there. Um, so I went for them too in the end. And yeah, I found that my skin has been really clear at the moment. Um, I think it might be a range of everything that I'm doing. I'd say I will do a skincare video, I think, because my skin seems to be loving it. I will put out there I've never had 
really bad skin or anything like that i only ever get like the odd hormonal spot um and they could they can be quite big and sore but i only get the odd hormonal spot or like small spots under my skin um like around this area um i had like like an eczema acne thing like my nose but um yeah i haven't really suffered with my skin so if you do suffer with your skin obviously these might not be the products for you i'm not sure i've just found they've personally worked for me and my skin um, and the other thing that I've been using, again, I raved about moisturiser. This is the Waleda Skin Food. They do a light version of this. And I think maybe if I was to purchase again, I might go for the light one. So this is for face or body, for very dry and rough skin. And it is thick. So I messaged, if you know Sophie, I just know her Instagram names, Sophie VJ. She did Sophie Chintz's Instagram, uh, Sophie Chintz's makeup once. I'll put her um tag on screen just in case you don't know who she is but she does really beautiful makeup and she raves about this all the time so i actually messaged her to see if she'd respond and she did um because i was finding it really hard to use and i just felt like i was like dragging my skin around which you know i don't want to do that because oh my lash is coming off i don't want to do that because i just feel like that's creating more and more wrinkles but basically you put a pea-sized amount of this in your hand work it between the fingertips and then like pat it in and yeah that works perfectly and yeah actually really really does work the last two things that i'm going to show you go hand in hand and it is from l'oreal oh no it's not it's from garnier and it's from their ultimate blend collection this is the watermelon and pomegranate scent so this is the plumping range so i used the papaya and i can't think what it is but the mask version of that before the i was really struggling with what scent to go for because the scents are for all different things so this is plumping but for fine hair and i've got quite a lot of hair i'm pretty sure it's fine but there's a lot of it and i was really struggling because i don't have really have one for like normal hair or i couldn't find one in, like there wasn't the stuff in the stock in the shop for normal hair um because i really wanted to try the banana scented one but i think it was for really dry and damaged hair but i've never dyed my hair so it's not in that bad condition i've recently had it cut i don't i try not to use a lot of heat on it so it is in pretty good condition so i just went for this one in the end just get for the scent and oh my god it smells amazing and you actually i've been allowed on a lot of dog walks today so i don't know if you can smell it but you can actually smell this in your hair after and I will use this as a conditioner. So it tells you the three different ways you can use it as a conditioner, as a mask and as a leave-in. So I tend to use it as a conditioner and then a tiny bit as a leave-in as well. And yeah, just really, really, really love them products. Um, so you can look at the range and what each scent is for and pick accordingly. So, you know, for your hair type, really enjoy these products that's all for today's video um please make sure to like and subscribe um and make sure to follow my instagram and also turn on the notification um for my channel just so you can see when i upload next upload my video thank you for watching